Hello DevOps people, welcome to Fulsive. I'm happy to have you on my live coding stream. I decided to do some more co on the action policy change in my hosting dash application and thought why not stream it live. So um, this is a uh, spontaneously scheduled, no, it's not scheduled, it's a spontaneous live stream. Normally, I regularly uh, stream on Saturdays at 3.30 p.m. So um, follow this channel if you'd like to get notified when I'm going live. Yeah, so last Saturday I got working on my change from the CanCan -can gem to the Action Policy gem to do authorization in my app. Uh, uh, found uh, after about minutes what I'm doing wrong, so I hope that uh, I'll make uh, faster progress. As always, let's keep this session interactive and uh, feel free to pop up in Twitch chat for any questions. If you have any feedback for me, I'll be happy to chat. Alrighty. Um, so here's the C files that uh, AXC uses to do authorization. And on Saturday, I was struggling getting this data policy test suite uh, running. And I finally found out that uh, this uh, a method was missing and as soon as I wrapped the manage method into this apply method things starting again and uh, I'll simply go ahead and apply the same changes to the remaining policy tests here. Also, I apologize in advance if I have to um, mute the microphone for blowing my nose or um, if I'm touching my nose a lot. Um, spring is here and with spring comes hay fever. Uh, this I got myself a nasal spray, so I just shot steroids up my nose and I hope this helps me uh, uh, keeping my focus on coding. All right, so let's take a look. Um, here you can see the old version of the tests. Here, um, not only uh, did I not include the uh, necessary test helpers, but also calling the policy manage method directly. And what I didn't realize until last Saturday is that uh, I'll have to wrap this into the apply method. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got an alert from our monitoring system. Give me a minute to check this out. Okay, that's nothing serious. Ongoing maintenance work a colleague of mine does. So I'll just act the alert. Yeah, um, what I was about to do was uh, this manage call here into an apply call, make manage a symbol. That's the I need to do because um, the apply method uh, does do um, additional things in terms of housekeeping for action policy and uh, oh, uh, that was missing and c cost me 90 minutes last time. And I'll have to require test helpers for action policy as well. And uh, as you can see down here, Rubocop so complaining about the missing frozen string literate. That will make the uh, to uh, Ruby 6 
uh, um, rail six, I think. No, it's what is it? Ruby three? No idea. Okay, and uh, my newly enabled Rubocorp Aspec gem also tells me that I lose if, but when instead. That I'd expect this edge router policy spec to go green. Now I did a few minutes what took me 90 minutes for the date policy spec. <laughs> I think uh, I've gained a lot of efficiency here. Just a second while I turn the volume on my music a bit because it's far too loud in my in my headphones here. better. Let me know how the volume is for the stream. I think it's okay that way. But if it's too loud, just let me know. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and uh, commit this. Nope, nope. Same to the SSH key spec. Let's simply copy this head. Oh, no. In. And then I'll wrap this direct manage call into ply. in my context definition here or description um, I also have a problem with uh, uh, using should here instead I simply say it allows access or it does not allow access Rubocop still uh, complains about uh, the uh, example being too long with uh, six lines of code that's mostly because of the setup here and i will be able to refactor that into its own um, method or some class whatever but um, at the moment my focus is on the tests uh, successful in the first place and that i'll focus more on style issues Functionality goes before L. Okay, the user policy requires the same kinds of comments, context, where user is a normal user, Darwin user is an admin user. It allows read and write access on itself, and it allows to manage other users. Uh huh. Rotation isn't okay. Here, 
Samba's too many expectations. Yeah, because I'm using two expectations here. I'll have to think about um, Rubocop is proposing here because seeing this example into two examples with a single action each might not actually make the code clearer. And um, clear and clean code is the only purpose of Rubocop in the first place. So, to think about this before I make any changes. However, um, I guess this is it and we should get the user. Is this spec working? Yep, nice. Finally, website policy. It already has that stuff. It already has the apply calls. Looks like I've already fixed this. Let's verify. Always very assumptions. Sweet. There's still comment indentation. Okay. Yeah. Good. quite a few failures. I guess that's mainly because authorization still isn't integrated currently into the app. I'm quite confident that we would targeted changes will be able to resolve this issue quite quickly. Okay, so let's see um how many failures did we have? Twenty seven failures. Okay. Um and I guess let's take a look at where things fail. So there are feature te integration tests that fail. And then we have control tests that fail, which is a bit more low level. So fix the controller issues here first, because uh, chance that will resolve the feature tests as well.
Yeah. It's only feature test controller tests. So let's take a look here at the company's control example. Spec controllers, company's controller spec. Spec. Controllers. Companies controller. First, let's insert a few blank lines to separate S test setup from expectations. Okay, that's the spec, and it's pretty straightforward. It calls the method here and expects the response to work. What exactly does not work? Let's uh, run this. Uh, spec by itself. And also open the company controller. Company controller. But we do call authorize here and uh, many different places. So the basic integration is included, but uh, okay. So again, we have here uh, the issue that I was struggling with um, before, and if the reasons somewhere in action policy itself. And that's uh, uh, okay. Time it tries to log a, uh, an, a failure message, and I. I guess that this has changed uh, between the version I was using and the version I'm now using. So let's see, get to the reasons now. Exactly the documentation. X result reasons details should what we Yeah, there's X results reason that there's a new results object insert. So let's go to Mission Controller. X result reasons details or even full just Is a boobin. Thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, wait, I just fixed this. Action controller RB32. Oh, 
No. There are two places. Okay. have to join these to a more readable string or something, but uh, for the time being I'll leave it at this. We can take a look at the law and see uh, what the output exact looks like. Exactly. Music is a little bit too loud to my ears. Thanks for did you mean result? Yes, did. Okay, and even with it full messages. See, and that's I sometimes don't like about action policy that contagion uh, doesn't reflect reality. It's fu full underscore messages, it's called reasons full underscore messages. Reasons full messages. <sighs> However, the documentation gets generated from their master branch, which doesn't uh, always, well, it might be that this is actually in the master branch, but um, I'm not using the bleeding edge master branch here. Let's start. How are you doing? Happy to have you on the stream. How are things? So I guess we'll have to look at the code then again. Uh, X result reasons. So, we are using 025. Let's look at this first. Reasons. Failure reasons. It already has this X result reasonful messages. Oh, only with I18 support? Do I have to have uh, I-18N support first to have this stuff? Okay, so let's start with D first. Oh, this full message support hasn't been released. See the issue. <sighs> okay. Makes me a bit angry. Use this code, except uh, it's not released yet. <sighs> okay, let's work with details then and see how to translate this to readable messages ourselves. So.
Okay, on the side, since this uh, exception handling is pretty central in Haitian, um, this might resolve quite a few of the failures we had in the suite. Because, of course, uh, often we test about uh, authorization getting granted or not, and if it didn't, uh, this uh, bug um, triggered. So, um, I'm pretty hopeful that at least it does um, resolve a few of the failures, but uh, let's take a look at output first. Uh, so let's grab for authorization error in our tag, which seems to be pretty long. It's an error, right? Yep. Wow. It really is. Uh, okay, so it was an empty hash, I guess. is any information at all. And I guess should use reasons, keys, join with us, something like this. controller has a few style issues that are easily to resolve. Frozen string literal comment. with too many lines need to be refactored at a later time. Omit the default each. Yep, that, that we can. Okay. Nice. What happens when we run the whole... Oop, someone is persisting here. Sorry, can't take your call right now. Edit this to-do list. Mm. 
I guess uh, the migration itself had on, I think. And now we'll fix broken tests, and then we'll have to go through the test suite and take a look at where we don't check uh, the negative condition just to get our test suite more watertight. Okay, still a few failures here. Less than 27, I hope. Twenty-four. Okay, it's progress. Let's keep focusing on controllers. C cluster order controller seems to be an important. Thing, cluster order, and that's why the cluster feature spec fails as well. So it's like a good thing to target next. Order controller spec. Let's start with the from string literal true. That fix our context prefixes. Okay, there's still a few things. This how this test could be written better, but um, again, that's not. Focus right now. Let's look at the cluster order controller itself. And how it fails. We might simply be missing a class order policy. <laughs> yeah, cluster orders create hasn't been authorized. will be quite simple because uh, everyone should be able to order a cluster from our hosting platform. So we'll
do this. And this allow admins method here is supposed to be used by a check. So that admin users are always allowed to do it. And uh, by the way, exactly why I'm switching from can, can, can to policy, even if it takes a lot of work, um, being able to access authorization rules in Ruby code is sooner than having to encode this in a kind of sh as uh, required by can, can, can. Still doesn't work, but let's take a look at why. Still hasn't been authorized. Create hasn't been authorized. And uh, that's probably because the cluster order controller doesn't authorized at all. And I think there's a shorter way to do this. Go, well, yeah. Let's use the versioned documentation here. Uh, Rails. authorized calls I guess I could wrap this in a hook, can't I? Um, controller pack. Like this before action authorize. That should do the trick. Shot. Authorize. So we can. Let's see how this works. If this works, it might even be a good to make this uh, part of the application controller, the base class. Yep, see? Because basically I want everything to be authorized explicitly. On the other hand, I do have the uh, 
check in place the um, verify authorized call here that uh, the failures in the first place so now the call works I should do a commit. I think this was uh, still a style thing for user policy spec, so we could um, commit this by itself and uh, merge this other commit later. Style for user policy spec. Then we have uh, the Panis controller. That's just style fixes, I guess. stuff here and I think the application controller change okay that's uh, separate Let's run our specking for the whole suite. I'm getting hungry, so I guess I'll uh, try and wrap up uh, at about uh, half past. An hour of coding is a good strategy. Oh, it's so much better with fever now that I have my nasal spray. This is real torture. Okay, 18 failures from 27. Uh, I was hoping I would be able to half it, but... Uh, 
Let's see, we have the user registration. I guess that's a missing authorized call as well. And cluster orders still, oh, the, the feature test is still breaking, even though cluster orders controller is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the user password change spec. Uh, these are a few, uh, especially the device uh, related things like user registration and user password change. That, that's missing authorization calls that are easy to remedy. And the other stuff is a bit more challenging. Okay, but uh, to be honest, I'm too hungry to, to continue now. And um, it's a good plan to wrap things up. I'd probably um, do a bit more work on this uh, during this week. Um, I'll be back uh, at my regular spot on Saturday noon. So hit this uh, follow button to be notified when I go online. I'm happy that you join and uh, I'll upload this uh, to YouTube as well. You'll find it at youtube.fullstacksensei.com. Uh, be sure to subscribe there as well. And uh, until then, I'll see you next time. Cheers.